righty. So in honor of Mr. Beast doing Team C's and bringing attention to litter and trash and just our C's being in complete disarray and completely littered and it's destroying our environment, I'm going to try and give a little bit of inspiration to you guys uh, to help us live better while at Canada's Wonderland. I, that was the best way I could incorporate it. So I've noticed a lot this season that a lot of people just kind of throw their trash or leave their trash on the ground. And with Wonderland being located so close to a river and stream and it being actually our protected land, um, it's really important to make sure that we're not leaving our litter that could end up in the river or in the stream, which then could in turn end up in our oceans. So I'm just asking my audience and all of us, including myself, to live better and be better and throw out our trash and recycle anything that is recyclable and just a huge shout out and kudos to Wonderland for doing their part as well a lot of people don't know but Wonderland's been reducing their plastic use there's no plastic lids on any of their cups they're trying to get rid of plastic cutlery as best as possible and including plastic straws so huge kudos to Wonderland on improving each year it seems they announce a little bit that improves their impact on the environment so let's do our part and not litter especially with a theme park that is connected to protected wasteland or water so just wanted to do that really quickly i know it sounds super cheesy but i wanted to do some sort of little thing thanks so much here's the video all righty if you couldn't tell i'm a little excited i'm giddy with Winterfest. i'm giddy with a bunch of information i'm giddy with just everything happening happening at Canada's Wonderland and I couldn't be more excited for both Winterfest and the future of Canada's Wonderland. Um, I'm going to go over a few things in today's video. There is a lot happening. Um, I'm going to go over it. Uh, if you look closely, you'll be able to see some of the details all over. Uh, so as you can see, Wonderland is full force prepping for Winterfest. I'm so excited. Remember, 99% of the park is going to be open. So that's a huge portion of Canada's Wonderland that's going to be open for Winterfest. They have cherry pickers galore, setting up Christmas lights everywhere. Um, and I'm truly looking forward to potentially uh, Windseeker being set up to those really Cedar Fair famous Christmas. Christmas tree light displays. So here's to hoping Windseeker will have its little Christmas tree display. I can't guarantee that, um, but I, I, I do hope, fingers crossed, that that's going to happen because that pathway that's going to be open is a little bit of a dead zone and having the Windseeker tree would be really nice. Um, so yeah, super excited about that. Kingswood has had its electrical completely removed. The electrical is disconnected from Kingswood. The speakers are down. The lights are down. It is completely vacant in there. Um, so definitely some more exciting news. There should be a company potentially arriving, you know, in the next couple weeks. It could be months. I don't know the time frame uh, to completely remove Kingswood as a structure. Um, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. Hopefully that happens sooner than later. Um, and yeah, so it does bring up a lot of uh, questions and answers that we had. So that little white tent there, I did think was going to be for floats for season two of Winterfest. For anyone that follows Cedar Fair and Winterfest, um, a little Christmas parade is launched in season two of Winterfest and Wonderland would be entering its season two. So I predicted that this little tent would be housing the floats to Winterfest like other tents at Carowinds. That is not the case. It looks like Cedar Fair actually has had plans to remove Kingswood for quite some time. Um, they built that white tent as Kingswood was being used for Winterfest storage, and it no longer is being used for Winterfest storage. A lot of those Christmas trees and nutcrackers and candy canes and stuff that were being stored in there are now in that white tent. So that answers my question, and that also answers the question of, is Kingswood a last-minute removal? It doesn't seem that way. It seems that Kingswood was actually planned to be removed. There is action over on Vortex Hill, the location of the new Harmony Hall-styled restaurant coming to Vortex Hill. Um, there are a bunch of Wonderland workers and non-Wonderland workers there. They were casing the hill and trucks parked there. So I'm guessing that there'll be construction markings there when we go or even a construction fence. I do know and can confirm based off of the Cedar Fair conference calls that construction at Canada's Wonderland and other Cedar Fair parks will commence immediately after Halloween. Um on their projects. So I'm going to assume that applies to the restaurant as well and Kingswood as well. So I don't know if they mean exactly on November 1st or just after Halloween sometime in the week or two time frame after 
that. Um, there was a crane on International Street lifting something heavy. I couldn't fly long enough to make out what it was. Honestly, I'm going to make a giant assumption right now that I think is very likely. I think Wonderland's just setting up the ice rink. I think Wonderland's getting the ice rink ready for Winterfest. Maybe when we go there that it'll already be going and getting ready. That was a very large project in 2019, and I think that may require more than the 13 days or 12 days that Wonderland has from Halloween Haunt to Winterfest. So they might just completely be covering up the fountain on International Street, even with this last weekend, uh, to save them some time. That's going to be my guess. We'll find out tomorrow when we're in Wonderland if they did that. But there were giant white blocks of stuff at front gate as well looked like the same thing that covered the fountain in 2019 for Winterfest. So that's going to be my assumption. They're just getting the ice rink ready. Um, and I couldn't be more excited about that. If you're looking closely, there are cherry pickers all over the park. Super excited. I need to calm down. I'm sorry. I love Winterfest. I literally eat, breathe, dream, sleep, listen, film, talk, anything Winterfest. I love the live performances. I love the performers. I love the lights. I love the food. I just love the park. It reminds me of Disneyland. Honestly, it really does for Winterfest. So I'm super excited about that. Um, did I cover everything? I'm trying not to rant. I am ranting in this video. I apologize. I promised I would work on it, and I will continue to keep working on that. Uh, we got the uh, white tent there in Winterfest storage. We got Kingswood's going to be coming down. We got the restaurant construction over on Vortex Hill. Um, they are working on disassembling Splashworks as well. Um, and there was someone working at the Little Tolls. Um as you enter the parking lot. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. Um, if there's anything else, I'll update you guys. Um, that's that, that, I think that's it. I know I missed something. You should see, I take these HDR picks and I overanalyze them beyond belief. And then I come record the video. So all these shots you're seeing me film, I literally take the same thing in an HDR mode on the, the DJI drone so I can zoom in really close and make out things. That's how I can tell that there were two people standing on Vortex Hill there um, with the trucks parked by the Cookie Witch building but, and some guy disassembling. But yeah, super cool. Nothing exciting. There's no signs of a coaster yet, but I can promise you with the removal of Kingswood that something really big is going to be happening over the next three years. And I think that you're going to see Wonderland go full force in development. They need uh, they need some investments. And I think that it's not going to all be roller coasters and rides. I think we're going to be really excited about some of the investments coming. But I think we are truly going to be a bam, bam, boom park over the next three to five years. You're going to see some heavy investments coming. Um, and I'm definitely willing to put my money behind it. And for those of you that have been watching my channel, especially recently, we have been knocking it out of the park with our predictions. And I think that I can slowly say that I hopefully I'm earning your guys' trust um, with our predictions and our assumptions and stuff like that, that I think I know what Wonderland's doing now. I think... I full heartedly see the picture that Wonderland is going to be doing, and a lot of it's going to be infrastructure, which is super exciting. A lot of it's going to be food and beverage, super exciting. And then you're going to see a really cool roller coaster come to Canada's Wonderland. Now, is that going to be in Whitewater Canyon or Kingswood's location? That's the question. And then don't forget the plan for some of those Vaughn attractions and that there is still a hotel up in the air for Canada's Wonderland as well. So a lot of cool things happening for Canada's Wonderland over the coming years. Um, so stay tuned to our channel because I promise you we will keep you guys updated on construction updates on whatever Wonderland's working on and try and provide you some inside information without providing inside information, if that makes sense. Um, we don't want to cross any lines. Um, but yeah, I have some really cool predictions that I have whipped up that you guys are going to start seeing on the channel coming soon. Hopefully there's a really cool prediction that you'll see coming out very shortly that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. And a lot of money was poured into this video that should be coming out over the next two weeks max. So stay tuned for that. Super excited about it. Thanks so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, Ugh, subscribe button. <laughs> And hopefully you have an amazing last weekend at Canada's Wonderland for a regular operation. See you guys at Halloween Haunt this weekend and Winterfest in two weeks. Bye, guys.